Hello. How are you doing? Good afternoon. I'm doing great. Um, first of all, would like to start off by saying our sincere condolences on the passing of Angela. Yes, sir. Um, how are you coping? Um, it gets harder every day when I realize that she's gone. We lived together. We we slept in my car together. We we did everything together. Were you it really was. Were you at one time homeless together or living on the streets together? Yes. We when um we had nowhere to go, we slept in my car. Okay, and this was in Louisiana or in Arizona? In Louisiana. In Louisiana. And what what was her relationship like with uh, her murderer? Angela always, the way she was, she grew up fast. She was, she grew, she matured at a young age because she was in a group home when she was younger. So she never really. She had a relationship with her mother, mm-hmm. but she was so young and trying to be so grown that she, a lot of the decisions she made. Okay. A lot of the decisions she made was just, they, her mom never didn't agree with her, so a lot of the time she didn't know how to deal with her because she didn't, she wasn't in in her life for most part of it. Was was she back in her life now? Yeah, she was. Um, Angela was supposed to be going back to school. She was supposed to go to Chalmette High, and um, to be in, up to be a junior, so she could graduate the year after. She had just gotten a car, so she was about to get her license. And she's yeah, she uh, they had she just moved back to Chalmette with her mom. Wow. Yeah. And are you aware of the events leading up to her death? Yeah, she was supposed to come back to the hotel that I had that night. She promised me. Okay. Um, we, so that Friday she told me that the dude Dexter was down there. And I was like, that's weird. Like, why would he come away from Arizona down here? And she was like, he just told me that he wanted to, you know, see me. And I said, oh, I said, well, that's still kind of weird. And she would, like, come into my hotel, like, some of the times. Like, she wouldn't be there. She would only be there for, like, an hour or a few minutes. So I was mad at her. And I just kept, like, telling her, like, you keep telling me you're going to come to the hotel. Like, I wanted to spend time with you. And then that Sunday at 7 p.m., I called her and I was like, where are you? Like, I'm about to come and pick you up. Because, like, this isn't fair. Like, you were supposed to spend time with me. And she was like, I'm in New Orleans right now. I can't find my keys. But I'm going to be there soon. I promise. I said, you promise? She said, yes, Kyla. I promise I'm going to be there soon. And so I said, okay. And I hung up. And then at, like, 11 o'clock, it was bothering me that she still didn't come. So I called her again. And I kept calling her and I checked her location and she was in West Lego and she never answered. And then that morning, her older sister called me and told me what happened. Monday morning. Oh no. Yeah. Why do you think he killed her? I think he did it because, um, well, he when he found her, she was in the group home and he like he wanted her to himself like he kept trying to buy her like he kept trying to send her money to make her want him and she kept like even in that message thread, she kept trying to get him out of that because she knew that he she knew that he loved her but she just kept trying to make him not see her like that like see her as somebody like a, a friend or somebody that she wandered around like somebody that she thought that he was just helping her out like sending her money to help her out and he ended up not and when she when he came down here and he wanted her to go back to Arizona with him and she told him no it was the last time she told him no and then he killed her yeah what do you want people to remember about Angela 
I want people to remember how happy she was. She had such a hard life, but she smiled the most out of everybody I ever knew. Angela was a person that could see the real you. She could understand you fully no matter what. She knew it didn't matter what you did or what happened. She loved everybody unconditionally. I want people to know that she loved everybody. She loved everything. And she was she wasn't unhappy. She was always happy. And she's the best rapper I've ever met in my life. Tell us about her rapping career. She when she was younger, like around 12 and 13 her and her sister used to sing a lot and she had a beautiful voice she it's like a young alicia keys voice and she used to sing a lot and then she started to pull up instrumentals and everything and her sister and her sister just started rapping and they've been rapping since she was 12 so it's been like it was six years that they started making songs together me and her used to go to the lake and we just put on instrumentals and she just rap she was so talented we've listened to some of her music and it's actually very good she is she's very good she always wanted to be a rapper that was what she wanted to do with her life she even told me before she said she hoped that she's not gone before she make it because she didn't want anybody to fake fake correlate with her and she never wanted anybody to act like they really cared about her when they didn't and she wanted to be here to be known she always wanted to be known she wanted to leave out a legend and she was yeah. tell us about the balloon release <clears throat> me and her older sisters organized it we were at first it was going to be for Friday, but instead it's going to be for Sunday because most of her family wasn't making it out here until Sunday. And um, it's at 7 p.m. at the Bonneville Boat Launch because she used to go there all the time with me and watch the rain and listen to music and watch the water and we play and make songs together. So the balloon release is going to be there and we're doing pink balloons, pink and black balloons because that's her favorite color, pink and black. Okay. And have the funeral arrangements started or any word about that? Yes, sir. The funeral is in Covington and it's going to be on Tuesday. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. KY and my Angela's soul rest in peace. Thank you. Um